All right, welcome to the follow-up video of whether or not a computer fan can cool a platen with this aluminum heatsink. There was lots of good ideas and lots of suggestions and things that I did wrong. And one of them was not using thermal paste. I've made computers before. I understand thermal paste and what it's used for. I dismissed it in this case. I don't remember why. At any rate, we have thermal paste. We are going to use it this time and see what happens. Good idea. Now, if you're curious about what's going on here, go check out the first video. I'll put a link below. We've been testing whether or not an aluminum heat sink and a computer fan can sufficiently cool a platen on my 2x72 grinder while grinding a prescribed volume of these 4140 steel bars that aren't hardened. We fixed the heat sink to the platen mechanically during the last video and with thermal tape. The mechanical joining worked better in that case. The computer fans, well, they didn't do very well, in part because we couldn't put them right over the heat sink. We jerry-rigged my shop vac blower, and that did really well. The front of the vac does my dust collection, while the back can cool the platen. You know, it's got a suck and a blow function, so it's sort of an all-in-one device. So I acknowledge the heat in the system is not generated on the platen. It's generated where the knife and the belt meet. It either goes down with the sparks into the knife or back through the belt into the platen and other parts of the drive system. So why should we cool the platen? Because of that first magic minute of grinding, when it seems like the knife can stay on the platen forever before you have to dunk it in water and cool it off. When everything starts off cool, you can grind three times as long without cooling the knife as you can later when the platen and belt are hot. So we're hoping to mimic that effect. Go back to that first magic minute all the time. So let's take a look at our results from the last video. No cooling, our control 230 degrees, then 273 degrees Fahrenheit, and then the Celsius is right there for the first one quarter inch, and then the second one quarter inch of grinding. Each of those were ground in about a minute, so this is about two minutes of grinding total. You can see that mechanical fixation did okay with the computer fans, much better with the shop vac. The thermal tape, you know, it really didn't do any better than mechanical fixation. In fact, not quite as good. The question you guys want to know is, what about thermal paste? So hear me now, my prediction is going back with the thermal paste and the shop vac blower, we're going to get a 20 degree improvement across the board. I don't think it's going to be that much. That's just, that's my prediction. Just like last time, we're going to check our temperatures of everything before we start. And everything's basically 85 degrees, a few degrees cooler than most of our last batch of experiments where the starting temperature tended to be around 90 vacuums on and the thermal paste is in place. Remember we want to do about the same amount of work in the same amount of time. So we're grinding a quarter inch in a minute roughly and then another quarter inch in a minute. We check our temperature. We check our platen temperature after each minute of grinding. We don't check the steel's temperature because we tried that last time and there were some oxides forming on the steel and then the laser thermometer just didn't pick it up accurately at all. So just the platen. So this tops out at about 122 degrees. We're going to mark that down. I mean, okay, so I was a little off. This one tops out at 122 degrees too, which is pretty remarkable. Okay, so that did a lot better than I thought it would. It was 122 degrees Fahrenheit across the board. It just seems like that was maybe the maximum temperature. Pretty amazing. I mean, hands down, beats every other thing we tested. Kudos to everyone who pointed out that I forgot thermal paste and I should try it, so thanks. But what does this mean for our grinding? Let's grind a knife made from a Nicholson file, tempered to 60-ish HRC, identical in size and shape to our last video. The results of grinding those two knives were as follows. The control group, no cooling at all. 351 grind time, 194 degree Fahrenheit platen. Spent a lot of time in the water. The mechanical fixation with the shop vac blower, we knocked about 28 seconds, 27 seconds off. Uh, platen temperature significantly reduced, less time in the water. The thermal paste, stop now, put your predictions below, prepare thine pants for pooping, let's go. So if you remember, we scribed identical center lines on all the knives, the knives are the same shape, should be same hardness, same brand new Nicholson files. We're going to grind one side or one bevel to the same distance on the back on the spine. So essentially we're doing the same amount of grinding and checking to see how long it takes. Yeah, I 
guys, do not deceive you. That is a 96 degree platen temperature. So let's compare two minutes and 47 seconds grind time, 96 degrees Fahrenheit, only eight dunks in water, 21 seconds total in water when I review the tape. Pretty amazing. Is it grinding Nirvana? Uh, no, but this is probably about as close as we're gonna get air cooling. That's a 28% reduction in grind time and a 51% reduction in platen temperature for a hardened steel blade. That's, um, you know, I think that's pretty significant. It might be worth pursuing. Okay, nerds, so if I spent only a few less seconds in water and only made five less trips to the bucket, why is the grind time so much better? Well, the blades were all the same size and all the same hardness. We did the same amount of work, roughly. Maybe it has to do with me being able to press harder. Like I said, the science here, much less than perfect. But I bet if we repeated this test a lot, we would get the same ballpark results. This final blade basically spent a much higher percentage of its time on the belt than the other two. As a final test, let's go back and check our original question as to whether CPU, GPU fans can cool a platen. These are extra thin 60 millimeter fans, each moving 12.4 CFM of air. We'll orient them to pull air through the heatsink as many of you guys requested. I can't get a bigger fan or fans to fit without permanently altering the platen, which we're just not gonna do at this stage. Well, fan parts went flying, but they're on there. One twenty seven was the highest. One sixty five, one sixty four. All right, very interesting results. So when you compare the first minute of grinding, the computer fans sort of keep up with the shop vac. Maybe that's just the heat distributing in the heat sink mostly in that first minute with some effect from the airflow rate. But that second minute, I mean, it's just blown away different. The thermal pace with the shop vac way outperforms the computer fans. The computer fans start to perform more like mechanical fixation with the shop vac. So what do you guys think? Am I onto something useful here? Can someone fabricate something that might help keep platens cool and your knife on the belt longer? I don't know. Requires some thought. You guys have a good one.